Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Caves of Kud. We join Havoc again, still inside the small village of Jopa, before we go on a rather long journey to the north, where some caves await us that need some cleansing, if we can manage such things. But first, I've been made aware of something that I should have been, uh, should have known about before, and that's the Snapjaw corpse that we have sitting in our inventory, the thing that is literally weighing us down the most. So we'll leave it here. I also I want to try something real quick. Night vision. D1 to toggle it on and off. I don't know what D1 is. We'll just say N for night vision, I guess, for now, will be uh, what we need to keep uh, moving. So if I just hit N, nothing happens. With the corpse dropped, we can head out, officially, this time around, and we're going to be heading north. We only need to move two tiles, but if you keep an eye on the right-hand side and we go up one tile, currently it is the 24th of Uruux of the Jeweled Dusk. Now it's the 25th of Uruux, the Waning Beetle Moon, and one more, we arrive. We pass by the Salt March, and we hit plus. You have finished the step, travel to Red Rock of the quest, What's Eating the Water Vine? You received 50 experience. Lucky us. And in turn, we were so close to leveling that just arriving at Red Rock, the journey itself pushed us to level two. We gained four hit points and gained 94 skill points. Useful, but not anything we need right now. However, we can actually take a look at our character. And here we can actually see we have 94 skill points that we can use. Uh, so what we need to do is basically learn and figure out where we want to uh, spend them. Long blade, bow and rifle, all that stuff is not going to be super necessary right now because we can't afford it. I think what we're going to want is save up for wayfaring so we can make a camp. That way we can actually start a cooking fire and actually eat as needed. For now though, we're kind of left with our, to our own devices and here in Red Rock Mountains, we have to move cautiously. We're in a jungle, unfamiliar. Uh, it's the sounds of wildlife all around us and remnants of buildings and rocks all over. Here, we're looking for these supposed creatures. And there is something I've never seen before. Stairs down. So this is probably going to lead into the caves that uh, Red Rock supposedly has for us. I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. Moving north just to see what's around, if anything. Ooh, a baboon just threw a... Oh, there it is. We've got a monkey. Baboon, from atop his stunning, his stunning boulder, this small monkey peers at you with eyes full of curiosity. Two puffs of gray fur billow out from either side of his face. He's got a small stone and a vicious bite. And we have another baboon there. I don't know how many we have, so let's actually back up. Let's see who ends up coming this way. Two baboons. I wonder. We can hit F and we can actually unholster our desert rifle, take shot, M for mark, and then we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to actually level a shot at this baboon. You draw a bead on the baboon. The baboon is marked. He equips a small stone and we take fire. But it looks like we actually hit. No, it looks like we missed. It is marked, but missed. He's easy. Let's take another shot. We actually, actually uh, level up and we actually hit him for eight damage. We lose sight of the mark. Uh, looks like maybe he got knocked back a bit. They're all perfect and hostile. We might be better off fighting with our sword and our shield. There he is. We take a swipe at the baboon. He instantly dies. We, de we drew our long steel sword and finished him off. Now I'm going to pass some turns. Ooh, did he end up dying? Ooh, there's another baboon here. We take a swipe. We miss. He misses as well. We take another swipe, and he instantly dies. Okay, there were three. That's why we lost sight of our mark. We actually killed him, it seems. There's another baboon. Ooh, a goat, perhaps? Might be worth fighting. Uh, she chews cud without a care for mess in her tangled beard. All right. Not bad. We got four small stones on this corpse, five on this one, and four on this one. And it seems it was just the monkeys. We can trade? Soft growling? Nothing to trade. <laughs> Live and drink, friend. Live and drink. Uh, I know we can force an attack. 
But here we are. Actually, they're fighting. They're fighting a goat. We'll wait. We know there's a couple of baboons. There it is. You are famished. That's fine. We're going to move slower until we eat again. We actually are able to stab him with our longsword, and as he crashes down with a fist, it comes clashing against our metal shield. We're able to take another swing for free without having taken any damage. And now suddenly we're getting surrounded slowly. We block again, but we still take one damage from his bite. Let's back away from the tree. I don't know if the tree is providing him any shelter. Let's see if we can start closing in. There's three of them. We'll, we'll mark this one and we'll fire. We kill one off. Easy enough. A bullet hits its face and it collapses into a hunk of meat on the ground. We have to reload, so let's go to our inventory. I'm sure there's an easier way of doing it and I'll learn how to do it much uh, in time. But for now, let's load it. There we go. And we'll level the gun again at the next one. Firing. I don't know if we hit. He's defensive stamp and he's famished, so they're very, very, very... Oh no, I'm famished. I'm dumb. Uh, we did not hit him. We should throw a wafer down our throat then. Just so we don't start going hungry. Okay, we're quenched. Perfect. That's what we need. Let's move up, see if we can get close. We'll swing. It says he's dead, but there's another one there. And we swing again and he dies. Two stacked on top of each other. Oh, and we've got a golden one up here. A hulking baboon. He's just got big muscles. Swing. He's dead. The hulking baboon is last. Let's mark him and let's shoot at him as he approaches. Two misses so far. And now he's actually throwing, uh, I don't know. What is he throwing at? He's not equipped with anything anymore, so that's all right. We can start hitting. Oh, we critical strike him. 15 damage and he collapses into a pile of just meat on the ground. And it seems as though they actually did get the goat. No, it's a baboon corpse. Two more baboons there. Let's see if they swing across the screen here. No. Okay. I think we take what we, we've learned. We say thank you <laughs> for, for not dying. And let's just drink some water. Drink it. You're now tumescent. Don't know what that means, but... I'm assuming it's better than quenched. We know where we need to go. This goat is still, really? Swing at the monkey, he dies. They tried. We need to go into here, the stairs down. But let's explore over here first. All right, I'm nervous, but let's do it. I've never done anything like this before. Down we go. We're too famous to travel long distances. Let's try eating something more substantial. I'm not sure what's happening. But let's go and eat this. What is... I'm now sated and tumescent. I don't know what that means. There we go. Oh, dang. Okay, so we immediately go into a cave and Havoc is greeted by pitch darkness. Lucky for him, he is true kin. And he has implants that allow him to see. Perhaps this thing... A snapjaw scavenger, yet another, is unable to see us, though he is hostile. This creature receives a bonus from being in a swarm. Let's see if he approaches. He does. We swing, and he instantly dies. Fantastic for us. We're just going to go ahead and take the dagger. We're going to grab the dagger and leave the rest. And we quietly... Oh my god. Another two... Let's look. Two Snapjaw Scavengers. Three. Back up. It's being attacked by something on that wall over there. And we can quickly, just instantly draw a sword. And with two quick slashes, we gut the stomach of one and slit the knees and legs of the other before stabbing it in the chest and killing it. There's still much more. For instance, what is this? Jilted Lover. A swarthy wall vine that embraces lovers and doesn't care to let them go. Can I attack it? I can. It tried to grab us as we walked by. Ooh, a beaded bracelet. Okay, we got the beaded bracelet. Okay, we see more jilted lovers causing problems for others. 
but we're cleaning them out pretty quickly. In the meanwhile, let's actually take a look at this beaded bracelet we just nagged off of uh, one of these scavengers really quickly. These beads were skillfully dyed and strung together by a hillside native. Well, I don't know who hillside natives are, but I'm fine with it. Also, are these is this fresh water? Pool of one dram of blood. And brackish water. I don't know, it's probably a bad thing. Ooh, the bloody snapdraw scavenger hits for two damage with their iron mace, but not before we're able to finish her off. They've been having issues clearly with all these plants. Clean it up. Let's take it nice and easy. We have something in the far distance. Dreadroot, swollen tubers hum. This night vision has been excellent for us. Okay. There's actually a campfire down here that we can use. We actually are able to light it. We don't have to craft it. And we can actually whip up a meal if we want. For now, we're fine. But that's there for us if we need it. Something I do not recognize over here. Giant amoeba. It's average difficulty, hostile. S lot of slimy pseudopods. A mass of quivering gelatinous slime. You barely perceive the outline of something inside. How disgusting. It seems to be coming to us. Let's mark it. And hopefully because it's the slime and it moves slow, we can open fire on it. We did six damage to it. It's fine. We need to reload. Okay, let's go ahead and reload our, our rifle. This is why we bought a bunch of things. We need to be careful. And taking shots at things that we're not very familiar with is not a bad way to do it. Swing at it and it, and it just instantly dies. We weakened it quite a lot. Slime, slime. I don't know if slime's worth grabbing. Come on, scavenger. Dead. Iron long sword. Whoa. I don't know what that was. What in the hell? A bloody horned chameleon. Tiny skin crystals shift and sort, changing the color of her appearance. A narrow bone extrudes from her head. Antlers and a bite, so a giant horned chameleon. And obviously a snaps jaw scavenger that's fighting it. We leveled up. We'll get to that in a second. We'll swing. And so far, things are going exceptionally well. Okay, so let's actually go ahead and grab Wayfaring. I think that's super valuable. It's gonna cost us 100 of our 188 skill points, but we're gonna get Make Camp and Mind's Compass right away. So let's go ahead and grab it. I think that's absolutely necessary. And then we can kind of save the, the rest if we want. We kind of have to figure out what kind of build we're going to want to do. And I, the way I see our little Wild West cowboy uh, knight in shining armor is certainly a mix of, of the range and the, the melee. Let's take a look at what tactics does. Hurdle. You receive no penalty to your DV when you sprint. Could be good. Short blade, eh, axe, eh. I don't really want to take any of this stuff until I'm positive it's going to do good stuff for me. Let's take a look at acrobatics. Honestly, let's take acrobatics as well. The ability to just play very defensively is always going to be good. And we have a, pi a pile of uh, trash over here. Maybe they were living here. Seems the scavengers had turned this place into uh, their own personal little hideout. Probably not a bad place to do it if you think about it. Which wood wreath? Uh, we'll definitely take the witch wood, 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 witch wood wreath. Uh, I'm assuming a headpiece, perhaps. But yeah, this got—they've got their own natural defenses while sitting in here. I don't like all that those spider webs. Get a slice. We miss. We miss again. Is this a regular snap jaw? Yeah. All we need is one hit before it kicks it. And a treasure chest and spider webs. Gorgeous filament fractal. Nothing more. Now, I don't know if there's, I'm assuming things can be trapped, but let's see. Three bandages and a water skin, we'll take all of it. All right. Well, these scavengers, for what it's worth, have certainly made things easy for me. 
think he's a big boy. Yeah, he's a Snapjar war warrior. Tussocks of fur, dress skin, stretch over top muscle. So he's got a bronze battle axe, leather armor, copper nugget, and a bite. We'll swing. We're actually able to clash with him. Though he, have done, he did damage, I think, and we did not. We did do three damage that time with our longsword. He's injured. Oof. The bloody Snapjar warrior cleaves through our armor. We spat our blood behind us, but then he misses a second time. We swing. We shield block. We swing again, and he dies, finally. We got the nugget, everything else is fine, and then our own, a pool of our own blood. But hopefully we'll heal. Why did that have an exclamation mark on us? Dreadroot. It's swollen tubers hum. Hasn't done anything. We have another snap jaw over here and a beetle bum. Orbicular beetle that roams and ingests. It's neutral. I don't know if I want to kill the beetle, but I do want to see what's back here. A ton of trash and I'm sorry. What is it? Excuse me? Snap jaw brute. Uh, all right. We'll take a shot. We hit for 19 damage. It's wounded. I think we just fight it now. Hits us for one damage. We clash once more. Our weapons against their gigantic claws. It rips and tears at our flesh, but nothing it can do to stop us. Another one. We miss each other. And then with one swoop, we finish it. Oof, we are bleeding now. There we go, we actually finally hit it. Is it a brute again? It is. We take zero damage. It's it's basically desperately thrashing at us, trying to finish us off. There we go, my god. Whoever that one was put up a hell of a fight. There's still at least another one or two. Let's see if they come around the corner. Swing, dead. Scavengers are easy pickings. Painted leather moccasins will grab. They could be worth something. I'll take the staff too. And this is the other end where the chest was. Easy. Okay, easy clean up there. Beetle and spider web, some more dread root, and nothing more. And I'm assuming these are stairs down. I'll just assume stairs down. <laughs> Whoop, immediately surrounded by two Snapjaw scavengers. A warlord, okay. Tussocks of fur, dress skin, uh, let's see, swarm alpha. As long as this creature is adjacent to its target, it grants a plus two to the swarm bonuses of each other swarmer in the other area. So we wanna try and take out the one at the top first. Kill it, swing. We just got a huge critical strike. 14 damage with our steel longsword. It barely plucks at us, can't even get through our armor. Truly fighting like an animal. We swing at each other and miss, dodging around each other's blows. Before long, the sound of steel piercing flesh ends it. Ooh, and then we just got a paint, a bloody painted iron short sword. We're gonna go ahead and grab that in our in some boar skin gloves. And we're gonna take a look at our character quickly. And we'll see if we can we wanna swap anything. So boar skin gloves we'll actually go ahead and put on. So we actually have some bloody some bloody gloves on. And that's seven damage for uh, seven to hit 1d6. And then if we go into our inventory, 1d3, iron short sword. Less damage. Don't know if I'm gonna wanna mess with that too much. Ooh, more stairs, presumably leading up. No, more leading down. And what is this? A bat, it sheathes itself in filmy wings. Swing at this, kill them. Scavengers are nothing. 
cracked lens. We'll take it. Ooh, we actually can see over there. Let them come to the darkness where they can't see us as well anyway. It's another scavenger. There we go. Is this a pool of blood? It is. That's not anything I recognize. Giant centipede. A python-sized arthropod undulates forwards on hundreds of chittering legs. Okay, let's just take a shot at this thing. It's awful. And it's gone? Did I just obliterate it with a, with a gunshot? We all quickly unholstered our rifle and then with one go, it just went down. Ow. Oh, he missed! He missed and he held to hit his friend. Okay, fine. You want to play the range game, you can shoot me with your bow all day long, buddy. You killed your friend for me and that I appreciate you, but I'm happy to just take swipes at you forever. Another two easy kills. Bent metal sheet. Let them file through. Okay, another one down. We're going to go for this guy. Kill him with a gunshot. And they're chasing the bat around. I imagine they're just... We're getting attacked by a spider. I'm stuck in the web. Oh no. Fire. Kill him. We need to reload. Please. Okay, okay, we got it. <sighs> okay, alright. That was uh, very, very scary. We lived... What am I wearing for armor right now? A woven tunic? Let's take the studded armor. I don't think it's going to be much, but let's take it. We took the wooden arrows. Another woven tunic. We'll take the bloody leather armor as well. Fractured microchip. Interesting. And then an axe up here. Bronze battle axe. We're almost healed up, which is good. We're still sated and full of water. And we hit level four by killing a giant centipede. Is there more? Oh, okay, you're a dick. We just got shotgunned. Swing, dead. Okay, we leveled up. I want to go into our character sheet for a moment. Now let's take a look at what these can do. So we got a couple of acrobatic choices here. Plus two to our DV. You can you jump into an unoccupied square within range two. You cannot jump over a square occupied another by another creature. So if we wanted to get very fast and kind of wily, that might be a good way to go. Cooking and gathering might be good. While at a campfire, you can cook from recipes. Choose the two ingredients to cook with and preserve fresh foods. Meals cooked with recipes bestow special status effects. That again, more survival stuff. First aid actually might be great too. Staunch wounds. Use a bandage to instantly cure any bleeding effects. Yeah, let's go ahead. And, let's just go ahead and grab that. Immediately, I think that's useful. We can staunch our wounds when we need to. We were bleeding before. I don't think we're bleeding anymore though. It seemed to have stopped on its own. Is he gonna come? I kind of peeked around to see if he'd. Yep. Take the bait, and he does. Still nothing else here. Okay. Honestly. Maybe it's those um, centipede corpses that we need. Let's take this uh, lacquered bronze battle axe. And let's get out of here. Or keep going down, I guess. Holy crap. Um, We got to get out. I don't know if they're going to come up. Doesn't seem like it. It's a spider. I'm going to kill the spider. Oh my god, it has its own little room in here. Smack it. We blocked its attack as it thrust forward with eight legs. Wounded. Dead. Okay. I'm very nervous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go reload our gun. I think we're going to head down and we're going to play like one round attack, one round run. My God. Swing. We missed. Swing. 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 
We just killed something. We're dodging a ton of attacks right now. Oh, he missed! He missed again and he pegged his friend in the chest with an arrow, went flying across the screen. And just the... Uh, super, super hurt their warrior. And now, he has to deal with me. Like a true Praetorian, I literally just stood there and waited for them to come to me and I just shield up like a Roman soldier. Just were taking them out one at a time in hopes that it was going to work and it did. Now we wait. Swing. 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 Barely a scratch on us. Truly the warrior my people were hoping for. Alright, let's see what we got. Nothing here. Let's look at the chest. It's a bloody chest. Yeah, 14 drams worth of honey. Let's take it all. Stud leather armor, boar skin gloves, copper nugget, which we automatically got. More boar skin gloves. All right. I can hear, they're fighting. I don't know what they're fighting. We'll see what, what bodies are left behind, but we clean up the mess. Quick two swings and down they go. Giant centipede corpse. Okay, we're gonna grab this. I'm gonna take this. I think that's what they want. Let's take the giant centipede corpse. Okay, that's not a centipede. Albino ape, it's neutral. Set in the middle of the great white head of this ape are two red eyes that gleam with a savage intellect. Snowy white fur covers the ape's hulking frame. He lifts an enormous fist and beats his chest in fury as you approach. Two fists, he's tough and he's neutral. You know what? I can respect him. I'll help him fight to the best of my capabilities. Another scavenger dies. We got a slender iron mace and a bronze short sword and a monkey that beats his chest as we approach. And I'm going to kind of take that as a clue to not press on. Oh my God. This guy has such bad aim. You flinch away as a wooden arrow, arrow whizzes past a swing and a kill. The way down is just there. Blood literally explodes at the last corpse, soaking the ground around. And another one. This Havoc just cleans house. Ow. He must be out of arrows. We'll definitely take the lacquered brown bronze dagger. Hopefully we can sell it for some money. Sturdy furs? I'll take the sturdy furs. Trash. Is the monkey gone? Seems to be gone, so we can actually take a look here. Yeah, we'll take the masterwork staff, absolutely. Alright. Well, down we go. You have finished the step, find the critters of the quest. What's eating the water vine? 100 XP. Holy hell. Please tell me this is all not hostile. Girlschling, Gershling. Black ooze drips from its fangs and its pallid leg things. It shudders in primordial ecstasy and lets out a shrill whine that pierces your skull. This too is a swarmer. We also have some hostile plants. And a spider, I think we're okay. Oh my god. Okay, we're surrounded. I think we're just gonna go out for a second. Oh, they're actually following us up. That's a first. Critical hit, we got very lucky. We're almost dead. Uh, let's see if we can get a heal in. Salve injector, apply.
And so <laughs> the story of Havoc ends in a cave to the north of Joppa. This game ended on Sunday, April 21st, 2019 at 9.10 p.m. You were killed by a bloody Gershling. You are level four. How unfortunate for us. His story was short, our Havoc. But this is not the last story in the Caves of Kud. Not for this channel. And as long as people enjoy it, not for a little while anyway. We tried. We tried very hard. But we've learned. I didn't realize how quickly it was going down, because I didn't think we were getting that destroyed. But here we are as a corpse. You truly are a dangerous place, Caves of Kud. Maybe next time another Trukin, or maybe next time a mutant. We'll leave that up to you.